Recently, the channel Death Battle released Ben 10 vs Green Lantern. After the fight was over, the preview for next time's fight started. And I was hit with Weishni vs Mitsuru Kirijo. My very first thought when I saw Weiss was, Weishni is gonna die. Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. <laughs> Hello Internet, Jojo here, and welcome to Idea Shock, where electricity is our favorite element, and we love shocking puns. Stop it. Get some help. 20 seconds in, I'm on a roll. As I said a little bit ago, I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. Yeah, I'm gonna stop now. This is the same kind of feeling I got when I saw Ben 10 vs Green Lantern, and if you've watched it, you know how that turned out. So, honestly, I don't know what's up with my gut. I got the feeling that Weiss is going to die. If you're one of the people who watched my analysis of Adam Taurus, you know that I mentioned that Weiss is current best girl. And also, I've never played a Persona game, so I don't know much about the other person. I can't even pronounce her name. So, I have no bias in this fight. Well, I mean, I do, but my gut's telling me to go against it. I've been trying to think of why I got that feeling inside my bones. And I came to the conclusion that it's because Weiss is at a disadvantage from the very start. If you've watched Ruby, you know that Weiss lacks much of the solo combat experience and is mostly a support fighter. When in combat, she typically uses her glyphs to aid her team members while she stays on the sidelines. When it comes to the actual feats and skill, Weiss can't be compared to other characters as they're so different and spend so much time apart. They've also never fought each other. This means that scaling Weiss to other characters in her own team is completely out. Also, her aura is really weak. It was broke when Vernal hit her with some lightning dust. At the most, this attack is most likely comparable to four lightning bolts, leaving her with an aura durability of about 10 tons of TNT. This means that Mitsuru only needs to hit Weiss until she deals the equivalent of 10 tons. I've never played a Persona game, but in most RPGs, most characters can unlock elemental attacks and powers. If Mitsuru can use lightning or explosives, then it would only take a few hits to break Weiss's aura. As far as I've seen or remember, Weiss has not dodged close range lightning, nor is she comparable to other characters that can do that. Now, what I do understand of what these two girls have in common is their ability to summon creatures. The problem is that Weiss's summons are pretty weak. Really weak. Basically, they show up and they're typically one-shot by opponents. Let's be honest, Mitsuru has a Jojo stand that can be summoned almost instantly and used independently so that both user and persona can fight simultaneously. Weiss, on the other hand, has to focus intently for a few seconds to summon a familiar. She does not appear to be able to fight while they're in use because Weiss appears to have to focus on controlling them. Weiss's best chance, in my opinion, may be her training and skill with a rapier, but even then she's nowhere near a master swordsman. She will most likely be given dust in the fight, but, but even then, Weiss is not very creative when using her dust. So, basically, if Mitsuru can deal enough damage to break Weiss's aura, Weiss is going to lose the fight. After all, without her aura, Weiss is no harder to kill than a normal human, and she doesn't have Jean to save her this time. So I guess that's why I think Weiss is going to die. But I'm just a nerd on the internet. Thanks for listening. Remember to stay spectacular. Jojo out. Also, is that a gun? That's a gun. So yeah, she can shoot Weiss too.